Hello, everybody. Today I'm here with some more Disney Sources Arena, and we've got two new characters to showcase alongside another costume. And we've got Ralph and Tiana today. Ralph came out quite a while ago, and then they didn't release his legendary event until just recently, so I didn't get the chance to unlock him until just now, but I've had the characters ready for quite a long time. I actually have them all up to tier 6 right now. I think it actually requires you to get them to tier 7 if you want to do the uh, sort of event with them. And I, each, I only have them each at 5 stars too. So there's a lot to go through there. I'm not entirely focused on working on them yet, but I thought I might as well tier them up. Uh, I don't really know why if I'm being honest, because they're not really the team I'm working on. But still, I did that. So Next up we have Tiana. And... I know nothing about what she's like, so I'm interested to see. She's not really in the other Disney games that I have, so it's going to be interesting how they turned her into a fighting character. And it looks like Rey is part of her moveset, which is really cool too. Um, I hope we get more Princess of the Frog characters, that'd be really cool. Uh, and then for the costume, we're going to be doing Prince Ali. I don't think I've done this one, and it's also possible this is the last costume I haven't showcased. I'm having a hard time keeping track. Of which ones I have and haven't done. If you have an idea, let me know. I was going to look before this, but I think I remember that I didn't do him. Uh, but this might be the last one. Um, I can't remember. But yeah, I did a lot of them. Hopefully they release some more uh, soon, or make some more available so I can showcase them. So let's go into... I was going to start off with doing this, because I'm going to do this anyways. I've been using my grand energy to farm for King Candy, and it's been going slow. Um, but I'm going to use this for this anyway, so I might as well do it here. And let's take out you guys and bring in my other characters. And... I think why I upgrade the Wreck-It Ralph characters, because I had to upgrade two of them just to get Ralph. And then I guess I just wanted to get the rest of them while I had started. And I think I need to start just going through and tearing up a lot of them. And most of my energy has just been going towards um, uh, gear stuff in, in general recently. Um, but yeah, I've been really low on gear. I've been upgrading a lot of characters. And unlocking a lot of characters and stuff. So I don't have gear for like anything. Um, so it's, it's been kind of an issue. And it's, it's harder to get, it's, it's really hard to just get a lot of tier for, uh, gear for stuff, sorry. I'm trying to select a specific character, it doesn't, it's not even showing me my rings. Okay, so it is still selecting it, but it's not showing me, it's kind of weird. Okay, let's do this. So, Aladdin will be up first. We've got the Street Rat Strike. Just a regular attack. One jump ahead, 1,154 damage to target opponent, and 30% chance to gain haste for two turns. And if Jasmine is teammate, she will assist. Jasmine's not here, obviously. And then the carpet deals 756 damage to target opponent and all flanking opponents, and inflicts slow for one turn. So that sounds great. I'm going to do that right here. Um, we can do this too. We've got Ralph up next. Oh, never mind. I didn't realize that was the end. I wouldn't have done that. Okay. Well, let's see, did I? I still haven't, I haven't gotten any chips from him at all today. That's really sad. Well, I will do the rest of that later. I don't want to use any of my grand campaign stuff then. Uh, let's see if I can find some gear. And hopefully I can actually get some of that gear. Okay, obviously I was doing this one. So let's do it again. Dang it, I have to bring all the characters back in. Ralph. And Aladdin, and where is she? Tiana. Okay. So we're doing this now. Hopefully we can actually show Ralph and Tiana now, and hopefully they don't die also. That's, that wouldn't be good. And it's probably not that helpful to be bringing in Hero since he only gives it to the, the tech heroes, but whatever. We might as well, s well, let's get Tiana going. So we've got a big healing, break the spell, grant all teammates the following, restore 177 health, and cleanse one harmful effect from all teammates. 
Tiana cannot resist Polymorph. If Tiana is Polymorphed, immediately cleanse Polymorph and this ability activates regardless of magic charge. Okay, I don't actually know what Polymorph is. If it's like the one that turns you into a frog, I don't know how you could use a skill with that, but whatever. Come and get it if Gumbo Pot is not a teammate. Summon Gumbo Pot at random location, preferring locations adjacent to Tiana, and grant Gumbo Pot one protect and one undefeatable. So Gumbo Pot is a character, I guess. Uh, the, the pot can protect one undefeatable per princess, has a bunch of health, and on turn start, restores health, gains undefeatable, and protect. Uh, restores health five times random teammates, preferring princess teammates, and when dealt damage, 20% chance to gain t grant Tiana one magic for her come and get it ability. Um, so, it's another really healing move. It seems like she's a very healing character. And then light the way, deal up to 67 damage to target opponent, purge one helpful effect, chain to three opponents. Let's get the gumbo pot in here, I guess. Um, does it always go next to her? I'm not sure. Okay, well, the gumbo pot is probably going to die. We can do this one. Oh, I probably should have done a different one, but that's okay. Here's Ralph, finally. Deal 86 damage to target opponent and adjacent opponent four times. On each hit on the primary target, 20% chance to flip one helpful opponent. Or helpful effect, sorry. I break things, deal 128 damage to all opponents three times. On each hit, purge three helpful effects. So just a lot of damage to all the characters constantly. Game over, deal 4603 damage to target opponent. Increase damage by 10% per helpful effect on target. I'll do a max of 10. Purge and vulnerable before damage is applied. I don't know if we're going to see the game over um, today because uh, that takes a lot of magic to charge up. But let's do this one first. Okay, that was a cool animation. Let's do this one and kill all of them. Tiana can do... I want to see Ray. Whoa, Ray is huge. He only did one damage. <laughs> okay, and then the Gummo Pot's going to get his turn next. Oh, he, he, he healed Tiana there. And there it is again. And it's taunting, which is great. Um, we can do this. Yeah, we're, we're never going to charge up his move. Uh, let's just do this for now. And this, because I'm trying to... I'm hoping this will work. We can do this here. And it cleanses everybody, which is really good. Uh, Ralph, you... He's nowhere close to getting it. I'm never going to get to showcase that. <laughs> That's really sad. If we do the Street Rat Strike five times, we can get that. <clears throat> I mean, I'm trying to just survive so that I can get him to do his thing. I can bring this out. That's protecting everybody again. Ralph does that one. Another Street Rat Strike. That Gumbo Pot is going to be awesome. That's a really great... Tiana's got a pretty good set, I think. I'm guessing a lot of people are liking her. Um, the Gumbo Pot is great. It's healing us like constantly, especially if you have a princess team. Tiana's going to be great for the princess team. Let's see. Um, is Ralph... He's not even close, man. Not even close. Oh, I should have done the Street Rat Strike. <laughs> that was like the closest I'm ever going to get to be able to showcase Ralph's thing, and it wasn't even that close. I don't know, man. Did we even? I don't even think we got any any of what I wanted from that. Let's try to find another one with it, I guess. Might be in an earlier chapter. I could use those as well. We could do that one. And then maybe we'll be good, because we had to showcase a lot of their moves there. Like I said, I think Tiana probably has the most potential. Um, I mean, Ralph is a legendary character, so I'd assume he's good. I have not seen Ralph played with at all. Again, he wasn't that available until just recently. And I also haven't been playing PvP all that much either, so it's entirely possible that the meta has changed. I have no idea. Um, but... 
I mean, it, he's clearly doing a lot of damage to a lot of characters, which is always really good. Um, that's kind of like why I have Hades on my team sometimes. And same for like Gogo. -Go. She does a lot of damage to a lot of characters. Uh, and I would imagine Ralph is another character that that's kind of the point. Again, I don't know his game over skill, so I don't know if that is the point of that one specifically, but... And then Tiana's obviously a, a healing character. I can't remember, is um, Miguel also a healing character? Because I know people are wanting to farm him too. And it's the same case with Tiana, where she's kind of hard to do so. But if you have gems, she was pretty available in like the Summoner Showdown store. It, it costs more gems than normal, but um, you could do it a bunch. Let's get the gumbo pot in here. That gumbo pot is awesome, because not only does it give the protect, but it also has the taunt on it. Well, I guess that is the idea. Um, and then it, um, it, it heals the princess characters and others at the same time. Uh, we could do one more, I guess, especially... Oh, we did get, we did get what I was wanting, okay. So let's see. Uh, yeah, this one. Like I said, I'm constantly trying to get these, this gear as well, as well. Like you need 35 of these for just a single character, which is just so much. And it takes multiple days just to get that, so. Um, let's do this. Didn't really matter. Uh, we can do this with Ralph. And we're gonna do that street rat strike. There, we got all five. And Aladdin too. Uh, I don't know if he's that great. I was kind of... Well, like, I finished his event, I'm pretty sure. Uh, because I made it available to everything. Well, I, I don't think I did, because I don't think I have the... the... Um, the thing for it. Let me go and look real quick as we're wrapping up here. It's always a very... I guess it were, I haven't finished it, because it would go away if I had finished it. So yeah, we uh, we have to get all the characters to star level 7. That's the problem. And I've been kind of working on it, but um, I'm not focusing on it necessarily. They're not really a team either. There's only four characters in the group either, uh, anyways. So um, not too much of an in incentive, but like this is a lifetime event. So I guess I can do it whenever I want. But maybe they would get rid of this at some point and replace it with a, a side campaign or something. Well, anyways... Uh, that was my showcase. Sorry I couldn't do that game over skill, but we got to see Tiana pretty well. I hope it was good enough for you guys, and uh, those are all the characters I have right now. You can look real quick at who's coming next. Uh, Gadget's not coming anytime soon. Um, I hope the Peter Pan com uh, event comes back soon. The Zeus thing is starting up soon. We're supposed to be getting a new tower. Uh, I don't know who is going to be part of that tower, but it'll be interesting to see. And then I can start working on Wally soon. And hopefully Ursula sticks around because I've been getting a lot of chips for her recently. I'm only 50 away. So I hope there's some way to get her when the Zeus raid is still here. Either with that raid also existing or... Um, well, like the currency for the raid is specific to her, right? So I, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see. Anyways, thank you for watching. I will see you soon. Goodbye.